Hello there, Tenacious Crew. This is the state of my account as of uh, mid-November 2023. So, um, have added uh, quite a bit of a uh, GP at a uh, 11.87 million. Uh, got Leia unlocked. She is at uh, Relic Nine. Her alt is unlocked as well. So. Um, Obviously, that means I had to take all her uh, remaining tunes to Relic 7 since the last uh, state of my account. Took Drogon to Relic 8 to use in um, uh, Phase 4 of the TB and also in the new, uh, in the max uh, tier of the new um, <laughs> Andor raid, uh, which is uh, something. Anyway, um, I did take some other. Uh, tunes like Omega to Relics just to be able to use uh, with clones and something crazy like uh, was it uh, Amagandai it, um, who is actually uh, even in, in 5v5 um, kind of helping um, to multi-shot the Malakos teams without a pre-taunt so I kind of think it it's it could be worth it um in the ships we have uh leviathan if i can find him leviathan fully unlocked seven stars and i kind of got annoyed with the rng uh nonsense and uh, uh where are the sis um and took uh, took the assassin to relic nine could be wasteful but you know uh, again it saves me just kind of hassle in the fleet arena so i can do like two three easy battles instead of maybe uh four annoying battles um so uh what else since uh, we have unlocked uh, Malikos from Conquest, he seems like a pretty solid uh, character. Um, I gave him only two Omis so far. Um, not sure if that whelp is uh, as impactful as some other Omis I can, you know, give him. Uh, took him to relocate. Um, so far, I'm mostly using him on defense. Um, I'll have to take a look at, uh, my, um, uh, GAC history, uh, log to see if, uh, if, if it's worth it. Cause I know a lot of people are using him on offense and he seems to be pretty, uh, pretty awesome, uh, this way. Um, the way I'm using him, I usually have crew as a pre taunt and I do not use his, uh, uh, his, uh, DC nine. Uh, this way he's can, he can hide and uh, uh, do some damage. I assume most of my opponents use C on him. Um, but then, you know, they have to use something else on uh, uh, my Maldus. Another unlock was um, Jedi Knight Cal. So I took all his uh, requirements to G12. Uh, and Jedi Knight Cal is pretty awesome. Definitely happy to have him. Um, I was able to win uh, the special mission with him as well. I haven't got, haven't given him any of his Omis. Uh, it doesn't seem necessary. And I, I looked at the rosters of those mega guilds that uh, unlock Zepho and do Zepho missions. And only about 20% of them have Omis on them. So, of course, I mean, they... A lot of them probably have them at Relic 8 with insane mods, but still, um, I think it, even at Relic 7 with no Omis, it's uh, doable. And as far as another, uh, speaking of Conquest units, I guess after Malikos, um, I'll be honest, I'm not going super hard on uh, Moff Gideon, on the new Moff Gideon. Uh, I did get the red crates, obviously, but as you can tell, from uh, only 180 shards, I am not buying any extra. I 
just chose to uh, instead um, buy even like a G12, the left side pieces, because I'm kind of running pretty low on those. Um, and um, I think the plan so far is to buy a few in the upcoming conquest and then buy some more in the, in the new conquest for whatever new unit. And then between uh, the the shards from uh, the red crates and whatever, I think it basically I'll be just one month behind. And even then, uh, once people start unlocking him and using him, if he's a bit underwhelming, like for instance Trench uh, has been and uh, Old Boba, then maybe I don't even need to buy uh, any shards additionally and just wait to naturally unlock them in like four months. Um, I am pretty low on the relic mats anyway, so I don't really know if it's um, worth uh, rushing it anyway. Um, I Speaking of like just being low on the relic items, um, just to kind of show how many like i'm down to like single digits in so many of those like this one right here uh not, not single digit the double digits but i usually would like to keep them in like above 100 or whatever um so uh quite a few are getting very low like looking at the guild event guild events like i'm uh, like this one is has always been around 400 and now it's under 100 uh, so many are getting low um yeah it could be for my uh, splurging on uh, omega and i think i also took base two relics for leia just to have it as another option if i'm not using the toxic comp uh but um yeah um just uh been pretty short on materials recently um the new raid is out uh the speeder bike pursuit and so far i mean uh, what we're doing is just autoing um i was able to get 9.2 and i kind of screwed up on leia because i got 1.9 and i meant to like rerun it try it again but i guess i'm just so used to hit confirm but anyway i posted that so i probably could have gotten another close to 10 million and that's mostly with just uh hidden auto i don't not even mostly like it is 100 percent auto like I, I haven't uh played at all um some squads were kind of surprising like luke and uh akbar just the two of them were able to give me 1.8 uh, out of 2.7 tier um which that seemed pretty nice um i'm thinking of taking c3po to relocate just so i can reuse him uh for a bunch of attempts um it's but maybe it's not worth it at the moment because we are looking to get the 424 crate uh and currently we are was it 140 million away which is a lot um maybe once more synergies are known and uh, uh, people uh, like maybe take a few squads up to relocate we get closer and then maybe then it will make sense for me to relocate c3po um or i can just do it and just try try to see if i can get to like a 13 million personal uh, crate or something and um i mean beefier c3po wouldn't really hurt anyway um in pvp i was able to win last three battles i think so back to kyber one uh it's pretty nice at 36 76. usually i'm struggling in the first season of the new datacrons um whatever whether it's 3v3, it's, it's especially 3v3, if, if it is 3v3 with the new Datacrons, it's tough. Uh, because I don't go like 100 crystal refreshes on the Conquest. Um, and so I just don't have all the coolest uh, toys. But uh, 
I think now I have uh, the ones that I that are important, so hopefully we can continue climbing. Uh, and in uh, territory battles, still trying to do 37 stories. Uh, we might uh, try to kind of push for Zepho once we have the raid at 424 million bucks. But currently, there's really no. We can't really ask people to relic up uh, the Andor units to relic seven or relic eight, and also take Seer and uh, uh, Cal to relic seven. Although Cal at relic seven is pretty awesome, and Seer, um, I mean, also she's she's part of a pretty uh, pretty tough team, so there's no really uh, like a dead weight in either of them. And as far as Datacrons, uh, if I can, they're, they're still so terrible with the uh, um, with the organization. Uh, but I mean, I, I seem to have the key ones. We have the Drogon one with the less damage at level six. I have uh, one for Ray and one for uh, SLKR. The ones with the uh, stack and defense at level six, um, like Ray has been holding a lot better with with that one. Um, I only have one Ewok. That's kind of wild. Um, um, got the egg bar, and I'm not sure if it's worth <laughs> taking him. Uh, I mean, giving him an Omi, but you know, it, it it's it's something that I'm considering. Um, again, I don't really know if um, if that team would come into play. Uh, like I'm thinking of my recent matchups, and honestly, I don't think uh, that would have been the difference. But um, since I am uh, using. Uh, Han Chewie with Leia that kind of nerfs CLS team quite a bit so might as well use um, uh, what's his name uh, use the the 2PO and 3PO with uh, Akbar uh, Stormtrooper Han and Leia so that could be um, next and I think it covers pretty much about pretty much everything uh, that happened since the last update. Uh, uh, so uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.